This is Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Hey, me too. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to. Well, I can't afford it. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. That's super cool though, man. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. Oh. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. All right. Oh, here we go. All right, we're in. Oh boy. All right, let's just keep driving. All right, welcome everybody to Norwood Hitchhike. It's the second episode, Aiden Williams. Second episode of Fears to Fathom. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, kind of excited because uh, I really like woods stuff. I think it's super fun and creepy when you're in like a creepy woods and shit. So I'm ha I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, let's let's do this. Aiden Williams. Start at the beginning. Let's do that. Discord. We got ticks. So uh, if I see, I can get the car. Let me know. Finally, going to take Milo on a walk. Air. Lol. Take the plan. It okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Somebody driving by. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see why. Peach shirt? It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley faces. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. <laughs> what do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not It's not too good here, either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so I guess Aiden Williams is our dad. Wait, hold on. No, this message is... Oh, wait. No, yeah. So Aiden Williams is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... It, 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 yeah. Seems like that is our pops. You called? Yeah, I'm going to the convention. Could I get a car for five day, please? Without who? With who? Aiden. The internet friend? He's a nice guy. Oh! Never mind, that's the guy we met at the convention. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, and this is our pops. <laughs> uh, he's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. All right. Cool. So we gave him the the uh, everything for Aiden as well. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So I bet we're causing a traffic jam, aren't we? All right. Maybe we are. I don't know. Let's just let's keep going. <laughs> you know me. I want to read it and make sure that I I know what's going on. Oh, this is gonna be spooky, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna try to do some better driving than I did in uh, <laughs> Iron Bark Lookout. If you watch that video, then you know I uh, it was not it was not great. <laughs> oh, got a text from Dad. Where did you reach? Uh, still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. All right. Oh, I love the spooky and eeriness of this type of game, though. I love the, like, staticky look, like, the, uh, the fuzziness. It's just, uh, it's so exciting. Oh, I'm getting low on gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, hopefully there's a gas station. 
Come on. There's got to be a gas station, right? Oh, Dad, I do not have time for this. Should have been sitting there reading all those texts. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it real quick. Uh, I told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. Alright, hopefully she texted back about being low on gas and possibly having... What was that? What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a gas station? Oh. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea. Where is my sta Where is my thing? Is it on the side here? This place looks kind of creepy here. All right, we're going to back up. I thought I saw a flash in my rearview mirror. That's why I looked up. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't know. I swear I saw something in my rear view, like a flash or something like that. All right. Is our gas tank on this side? I sure hope it is. Oh, man. Okay, it's a touchy, touchy gas pedal in, re in reverse. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, I guess turn off the radio. Yeah, let's do that. Every night is really therapeutic for me. Yeah, it is. I like it. Alright. Let's get some... Oh, I just saw somebody walk over there. Let's check it out. I just don't want... I know... Don't... I, mm, I see your shadow. Okay, 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 okay. You're good. You're cool. He's cool. I think. Just, uh, that guy's just staring at me. Dead facing. Okay. Um. Let's get some stuff here. Oh, we got a text from mom. Oh, Polly, mom. And he's, uh, she said, uh, "I'll be all right, dad." Okay, so we said, "I'll, I'll be all right, dad." All right. You ain't gotta worry about little old Holly. Holly is on the job. Holly's on the case. I don't know what case that is. I'm just really nervous. <laughs> what do we need? Oh, we need gas. So let's go talk to this guy. I was like, I'm just looking for snacks. That's what I always do. Ma'am. Hi, can I get 10 on pump two? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> you headed to the bridge by yourself? Mm, the bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Um, what do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Um, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. And we decided to take this little road trip instead of getting a flight instead of splurging for a little bit of a ticket to get all right whatever it's fine it's fine i guess we're here so um yeah can i use the toilet because <laughs> now i gotta pee because you scared the crap out of me it's not cleaned what kind what are you doing all day you just staring at people you just staring at people what <sighs> well i mean if it's not cleaned then we, oh, and one more thing. No. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride. No, don't even, why would you even? <sighs> okay. Do not stop. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. Just step on, step on gas as hard as you can. I will step on gas. Don't you worry about it, pal. Step on gas hard, dude. Who is she? I kind of want to know. I'm curious. See, that's why I would die in these kinds of situations. Because I would be curious. I'd be too stupid to be curious. God, you say a lot. Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Why are you just walking around, bud? While oh, he's just saying all this creepy stuff. How are you not paying attention to this? Regardless, she's out for blood. Oh, not my blood. I didn't do nothing. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Oh, that's what this is going to be? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. Uh, they just ain't. Oh, man. Okay, I don't know why you did that. Now I want to talk to this guy, because he's been walking around. You probably know something. I uh, heard about Norwood Valley Monster. How's your night going? Where are you headed? Um, let's just, uh, you know, let's just get a little small talk. How's your night going? He just looked at me. <laughs> All right, man, let's talk about the monster then. Huh? Yeah, the monster. The Norwood Valley Monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Oh. What? Wait, what was that supposed to mean, huh? You just gonna say big mistake again? What is that supposed to mean, man? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Uh, can I at least get some juice or something? Let's buy something else. That, some, you got chocolate or something, man? I want to die with something good in my stomach at least, dude. Oh, God. Whatever this is, I'll take it, man. I didn't need it. I guess I do. Whatever. I'm out of here. <sighs> Let's go drive on this creepy ass road. <laughs> oh no. Oi, oi. Did I just see you by my car? Did I just see you by my car, fam? Hold on. Oh no. <sighs> Who was that? Why would they buy our whip? No way! Not happening today, dude. Do I just pump the gas? Or am I good to go? Cause... Oh, pump two is right there. I did not park on pump two. Like... I did... <laughs> but I bought gas on pump two. Why did I park on pump three? Why did I buy gas on pump two? Alright, well, let's just... Start it up if I got gas. Pull it around here. Um, I just can't see anything behind me, and it's kind of making me worried. I sure hope my gas tank's on this side. Or is this like a spooky old, like a really old car or whatever, where it's like in the back? That's possible, I think. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Just trying to... We're just trying to get through this. <laughs> Okay. Can we pump our gas? Alright. Pump away. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Oh boy. Uh, since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Oh, yeah, I forgot she texted. I just, I was so... I'm so sorry, mother. Somebody was trying to break into my car. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Yeah, absolutely. Of course I'll go back into this creepy gas station and buy dog food from this creepy dude. Why wouldn't I? Got nothing better to do right now. Got dog food. Uh, hey, you're still here shopping? I don't like that. Don't like that. Where's the dog food? <sighs> ah, there. Pat, pat. Very good. It'll be five dollars, ma'am. All right, take my money. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Do I? Have uh, I don't even. I don't know. I am so nervous. I am so nervous <laughs> of what's to come. Put this in the trunk, maybe? Yep, perfect. Oh, I got... It. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a good amount of stuff, because I've been... Let's visit... Oh, come on, come on. Put it on top of the skateboard here. Good enough. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do this. It's gonna happen. You're gonna fit in there. Yeah. Alright, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Looks good. And we're off. All right. Let's go. Just keep on continuing down the road. Hopefully we don't see that 
van that was snooping on us. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Um, and every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not cool. It's not expired or anything, right? <laughs> Surprisingly, there's dog food at the gas station. You don't need to pay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't need to pay me for it. Yeah, I mean, it's not expired, right? Ooh. I should have just. I should have actually came to a stop. Um. Uh, hello? Yeah. What is that? No. Uh-uh. Big old hill, dude. Do I got brights? No, it's just that. Or this, maybe this is the brights. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't, did I do that? No, I did not do that. What was that? What was that? What is, uh, whoa. Oh, there's a car. Oh, okay. Can you, <laughs> can you not do that, <laughs> please? Oh my, you're gonna kill me, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Oh boy, was that a car behind me? I keep seeing like some flashes in my rear view. That dude went down really fast. I'm driving as fast as I can. And that dude, that dude in front of me is gone. He's not behind me, is he? Can I look behind me? No. Whoa. Is this the bridge? Uh-uh. Don't do that. Don't do that here. A real bad feeling. Oh, boy. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop doing that. Oh, no. Oh. You've got to stop doing... That was a bush, right? Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm so spooked. Hey. What's that? Somebody just dropped. I'm not stopping, dude. We are not. Oh, bunny. Oh, that sound is weird. Is this another bridge? Stop doing that, headlights. Oh, no. Stop it. There's this very weird thing about that night. Uh, I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. What? I am not getting out of this car. You have got to be out of your mind. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. Oh. But I didn't think much of it at the time. Why would you not think much of it? Okay, uh, uh, those were heavy. Yeah. No crap. Why am I pushing them this way? There you go. Come on. Keep moving. No. Oh, I see. Like, I... What's going on? I'm not touching them anymore. Oh, oh, I can move them with my feet and stuff, too. Oh. <laughs> I'm big brain, I promise. I'm not. I'm... Why is that one moving on its own? We're just gonna... Nope, we're pushing you out of the way, dude. We're just getting you out of the way. Let's come on. Come on. Alright. Let's get back in here. Had to move the logs to go ahead. They're moved. I I have moved them. They are. Why is it? Uh. They are moved. Oh, now. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. 
I mean, I just gotta back up a little bit here to... Don't... Don't you even... Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Car wouldn't start back up. Come on. Come on. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not here. Not here. Not here. Oh. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. No. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel slightest of unease. Ugh. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Oh no, don't. Don't do it. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh no. No, 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 no. But at that moment, I had no choice. Yes, you do! Keep trying! I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Keep trying! Ugh. Oh, it's smoking. Oh no. <sighs> We're getting out. 10.23 p.m. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Saw a car nearing. Oh no, we're not. No. We're we're in the car. We're staying in the car. Shit, maybe I should have flagged them down. Pure evil. Oh, they didn't stop. Don't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. That's fair. It is true, it sucks, but it's also scary. It's a very scary situation to pick up any hitchhiker, and especially when that gas clerk tells you not to pick up any hitchhikers. 10.43 p.m. Oh, I'm so scared. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, is this it? Could this be it? No? Hello? Oh, you're stopping. Oh, no. I am clenching up right now. Hey, bud. Oh, it's that guy. You're the girl from the gas station. Uh, hi, thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. Didn't think anyone would stop with me here. Yeah. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Do you think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. We shouldn't be doing this. We should not be doing this. Going, all right. What's up, man? You wanna? Yeah, thank you. Let's get going here. Uh, a little worried here. Can I put on? Can you put on the radio or something? It's very, very unsettling. Uh, so you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. Yeah. I appreciate you stopping, but uh, I'd rather just, you know, try and keep my distance. <sighs> You're really lucky. I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess I am lucky you had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. Um, what is that supposed to mean? How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, I think it was battery. It's an old car. I don't know. It never broke down on me like that ever before. Yeah, and we saw some people messing with it, so... It's my dad's. It's pretty old. You're just gonna not talk after starting the conversation? Okay. That's why I'm looking out the window here, because I do not want to engage with you. I'm just gonna stare at the moon. Alright. Oh, my So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? You were listening. You were just walking around being creepy. I don't know. 
Didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Uh, is it? Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So you you know then for a fact. Oh, so we can talk now. Um, do we talk to him? I really don't want to. He's gonna keep talking to us, I bet, isn't he? Maybe maybe we talk to him. So is it true? What the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Oh no. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Tuh, okay, noted. I ain't bothering nobody. Just trying to get home, fam. Just trying to get home. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. I mean, you stopped, so it's okay, I guess. Why are you being kind of creepy, though, now? Keep starting conversations and not finishing them. Creeping me out. Twelve oh eight a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Oh my goodness! Thank God. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. <sighs> well, thank goodness for him, though. I mean, at least he stopped. Oh, man. That's all my stuff, too. Alright. Let's get a room. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> I can tell you that. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? What a, what a weird way to... Whatever, dude. Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, how much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm going going to be here for a few hours. A few hours. Okay. 40 for a single. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. But for a motel? <laughs> Pay cash only? Yeah, I'm paying. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm paying cash only. You ain't getting my credit card information. Room number nine. Right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Uh, Tommy. Is Tommy reliable? Guess we're paying it. Gotta pay, gotta pay up. That's a $130 night right there. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to be woken up myself, so. Alright. Let's just get out of here. I'm gonna grab all my stuff. Where's room 9? Is it all the way down there? Alright, let's just grab... My, is my stuff going to be taken to me then? <sighs> Alright, let's find our room. There's one. Alright, so it's got to be down here then. Maybe it's all the way over there. There's six. Seven. Oh, we're over here across the way. Oh, 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 no, it says not delivered on my end, though. All right, this is from Dad. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean, reroute? Uh, Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight. Uh, come on, come on, please send. Um, Aiden, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, hey, where are, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Uh, it's not expired or anything, right? Holly? Yeah, they're all trying to get in touch with me, and I'm trying to- I'm trying to serve- I got no service. Come on. There's gotta be service, like, right here or something, right? 
Okay, let's just get to our room. How do we not have service? We just got those texts, right? Room 9. It was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. What? Why do I not have a mattress? Oh, I can, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See who's outside my- oh, no. That's a- Woo! That's a big old TV! <laughs> Woo! This motel got the big bucks! Man! Woo! Alright! Uh... Definitely making sure nobody's in here. That's what's happening, dude. Oh! No, oh, my god! <laughs> what are you- What are you doing in my- Boom! <laughs> Oh my god. What are you doing here? What do you mean? What am I doing here? You... <sighs> Let me gather myself. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I should be asking you. You scared the crap out of me. First of all, yeah, you scared the crap. Yeah, I can't even talk now. You scared the crap out of me. He he he. Who responds like that? Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. Why are... Why are you talking like that, first of all? <laughs> but I just... Why are you here? I'm so flustered now. Oh my goodness. Why... Why are you in the bathroom? Who are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. <laughs> Guy at the front desk gave me this room. He he he. What in the world? Gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Uh, I'll just get my stuff. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I really gotta collect myself. Yeah, I'm not even closing the door. I'm keeping it open. You are not scaring me again. Oh, I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded now. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Everything's okay. We're getting the dog food first. That is... Really needed some energy soda? What? What do you mean you need energy soda? Ugh. Uh, okay. Let's get some get an energy soda. Is there one in here? Uh, I mean, that's just cola, right? I don't think there's any energy drinks. Let's try here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at that. Meat snack. <laughs> oh, come on now. Chocolate, refreshing soda, bubbles drink, carrot drink, orange drink can, milk chocolate, chocolate candies, grapefruit drink. Come on. There's got to be a, a meat food snack. Wait, hold on. Did I already pass every? No, these are different. I feel like I'm... There it is. Energy soda. All right. I was like, I feel like I'm seeing different things. So many of these items increase your sprint speed. That's pretty cool. <sighs> okay. Still, still recovering. Consume. Let us drink this delicious drink. Did I already drink it? We good? Have we been? Yep. All right, we're good. All right. Get our stuff again. Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that. Oh, wow. Really does increase my sprint. Wow. I am zooming. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the wrong apartment. Yeah, and that's why I left the door open. So that way you wouldn't be creepy again, dude. Uh, just get out of here. You know what? No, I'm not putting everything over here. I'm putting everything over here. You are not getting the best of me. Let me grab my, all my stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I was like, that's... I thought the sprint didn't last, but I was like, huh. We are zooming. Hopped up on sugar. Woo! Bop, bop. All right. Got my skateboard and other luggage. I got a lot of luggage here. 
for going to a convention. And I don't know about you, but usually I pack light. <laughs> Still, you're still just standing there. Okay, you can get out of my room at any point in time that you feel is conducive to good service. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of it. I'll tell you one thing. This dude better not be expecting a tip. All right. Had a word with Joe about the situation. How did you pass me? I was, okay. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. What do you mean? But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your, I go get your car? Are you Tommy? You are Tommy, right? Yeah, I'm sorry if you did say that because I am completely flustered. After you just completely frightened me in my own damn room. And also, the room's phone is not working. Why? If need anything, just ask at the front desk. <clears throat> We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He he he. Why are you laughing like that? But you have a good night. Get out of my room. Get out. Get out. Thank you. <sighs> Not okay. <laughs> We're going to make sure he's leaving. See him? I'm a little taller than I was in the first episode, so <laughs> it's a little bit more of a crouch. Phone's not working. All right. Bathroom. Probably got to go to the bathroom, don't I? No. I, guess I would take a shower. I would honestly take a shower and, like, just relax. Oh, just double checking. I'm keeping everything open. What's that sound? Well, that's a deep closet. A lot deeper than I thought it was. I don't know what that sound is. Keeping it open, though. Just want to explore a little bit. Wait, I'm getting a dial tone. Can I not turn it off? Oh, all right. It's on the tube. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know we going to sleep watching this. Uh, gods do. Oh, I can open this one. I didn't need it. I would say at this point in time, you need everything. All right, I think we explored everything we could in here, right? So, um, yeah, I swear I hear like a little bit of talking or something going on. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of tripping me up. Um, all right, can we turn off the lights? Can we go to sleep? Nope. All right, let's just go to sleep. Uh, oh! Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Yeah, what was that? And what's going on in my bathroom? Couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. Yeah, of course it was. Uh, can we close these blinds? Like... And what is going on in here? What was that? What was that noise? Was it the sink going? Oh no, was it the sink? Oh. This has got me so spooked. All right. Like, I'm going out here and checking. Who the hell was that? You're like, yo. Who's peeping on me, dude? Yo. Couldn't just go into any room. Uh. 
Man, I would. Alright, let's go ahead and get over here, dude. I'm about to get me some chocolate for all of this. Kidding me? Ugh. Let's go talk to this person. Make sure he knows that somebody is creeping on us. Right over there, room number nine it is. Yeah, I know. I was coming in here to try and tell you about something spooky going on, but I guess you don't want to hear it. Now let's get in here and go back to sleep. Because nobody wants to help us out. And I still can't get service, huh? Ugh, I gotta move these out of the way to get to... Ugh, come on. Alright, let's get in here. I am double checking, making sure nobody's in here. Because whatever is going on in here, dude, is not cool. Ugh, just, just... Man. So spooked. I'm going to put on Superman again. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Oh, now I got to go get coffee. Uh, I'm drink me. Uh, let's get some coffee. Please. Wait, what was that? Meat snack. New. Like, I just like it that it's new. That's so great. Like, what, how new is that? Chocolate? Ooh, I should have gotten that. Oh, look, orange drink, chocolate, chocolate cake. Where is the coffee? Oh, here's the coffee machine. Huh. And that's what I was hearing was somebody's TV or something. All right, so I guess, yeah, let's get, let's get a coffee, dude. Oh, man, not available. Oh, I guess so. Uh, espresso or cappuccino? Mmm. I kind of like a cappuccino. Not gonna lie. There's no money thing. Alright. Consuming these items helps you stay awake. Okay. Let's do it. Alright. Now we got our coffee. Finally. I guess I should have looked over. Oh. Oh, What's going on? Whoa. Hey, what's... Yo, what's happening? Yo, what's happening? Everything's backwards. I look left and it goes right. I walk forward, it goes backwards. What is happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get, get back to the room. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's a text from Dad. No, I can't read it. I can't see it. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Oh. This is my room. Room 9. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. Just get me. Uh. What is happening? What was happening? Go to sleep. Sleep it off. Three eighteen AM. What was that? I was sedated. Oh no. Thought our phone didn't work. What Who is that? Who is that? What the hell was that? Who was that in here? Oh my god. You're not in here, are you? Ah! Oh no! Oh! Okay. Let's try this again. All right, let's not go into that closet. Uh, phone didn't ring this time, which is weird, but I don't know if I should even, should I just leave? 
Uh, I really hope this isn't the wrong answer right here. No, I think I just need to leave. You know what? Yep. Didn't feel safe going out. Oh, no. That's the only move. Here. Close the door. I know he's in there. Okay, third time's a charm, right? Let's uh, let's try something else. Let's try this drawer or something, because there is stuff in here. I didn't need it. Says you, grab the vase, grab a weapon, and fight him. Is there anything outside right now? Cause, dude, I would say just get out of there. What was that? Who's knocking? Get the skateboard. That is our weapon. Um. Duh, who is it? Open the door. Do nothing. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, we have to open the door. We have to get out of here, right? Let's just, uh. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. All right, open the door. Open the door. Get me out of here, Joe. Joe, get me out of here. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have- what? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that- why your eyes are- why your eyes are all red? Why are your eyes all red? Uh, mention the coffee machine. There's somebody in my place. You need to let me get out of here right now. I dropped my skateboard. <laughs> Are you messing with me? No. We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Lead Joe, yep, yep. We're getting the f*** out of here. Do you know, I don't... I don't even know. I'm going to keep it like that. We're going over here. I'm showing you where this coffee machine is. I am tripping right now, dude. Why are you walking so slow? Oh, the music. Oh, I love it. Is... Uh... Yo, the coffee machine was right here, dude. Um, yo, yo, it was right here. I swear. Go back to the room. I swear to God it was right here. Why are you walking around like... I said go back now. I don't want to, dude. There's somebody in there. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. Uh, there should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Don't. No, it's this person. I know it's this person in here. Uh, couldn't just go into any room. Yeah, you can. Especially when stuff like this is going down. There's somebody in my room. Ugh. Oh, it's cracked open. It's cracked open. Alright, there's the pills. Yeah, let's just take some... Requires water? No, I'm not going over there. Um, you are. There is no chance I am going over there. And, uh, yeah, nope. 
Not happening. Not happening. Can we turn on the light at least? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm holding my breath. Why am I taking these random pills that somebody just told me to take? I feel like you're breaking every rule. I feel like I'm breaking every rule. Don't I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. All right. Oh, what was? Who? Who's talking? Oh no! Somebody just took a picture. What are you doing? What was that? What are you doing? Oh my god! I'm going to bed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's nobody home. Alright, I don't know if this guy's gonna stop saying hello. Uh, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. Oh, nope. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Um. Mm, I don't. Hey, I, I really don't know, because I'm pretty sure there's somebody in my room still. Nope, do nothing. Go to bed. I know you're in there. Just leave. Just leave. Oh no, you're gonna make me open the door, aren't you? This is so not okay. 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 <laughs> Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Oh my god, please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Oh, oh. Did Joe just knock him out? <laughs> Hell yeah, Joe. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. 
I never went on long road trips again. <laughs> I would always take airplanes. I would do the same after that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, that was so good. That was so much fun. I had a great time with that. Oh, that was so spooky. Yeah, no way, dude. No way I'm going on long road trips anymore after that. <laughs> uh... Well, that's going to be it for this episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike. I had a great time with it. Super spooky. So much fun. I actually expected to be, like, hitchhiking through the woods myself. Um, but this was so, so spooky still. I had a fantastic time with it. I love this whole psychological horror. And those jump scares do get me. And I do like jump scares. <laughs> I just, I, I'm having a great time with these. I really do appreciate you all watching. Thank you all so much for taking the time. Thank you for the support. And if you liked what you see, give the video a like. If you really like what you see, give me a subscribe. It means the world to me. You have no idea. And until I see you on the next one, you all take care.